we will be freezing in time the use of photo radar devices. The Alberta government slamming on the brakes on new photo radar Tuesday as it continues a review into the controversial practice. But that doesn't mean lead-footed drivers are off the hook. There will still be photo radar on Alberta roads during this temporary freeze. The transportation minister says this is a continuation of the review started under the previous NDP government and admitting that a decision won't be reached overnight. Uh, I think it, the whole thing could take as much as two years. We need consistent data from the 27 wow. municipalities that have been using it, and we hope that consistent data will lead us to uh, better decisions for the future. My intention that we are going to humanely put the cash cow down. The previous transportation minister, Brian Mason, openly mused about putting photo radar out to pasture. Now, McIver says all options are on the table, but stopped short of branding the practice. They get lots of uh, feedback into my office from Albertans that think it's a cash cow, so we're going to do some research and find out. I don't think there was expansion of the, of the portfolio contemplated right now anyways. Edmonton's mayor says the news changes nothing for him, as the city had no plans to add to its radar resources. His concerns remain with the recently announced plans for the province to take a greater percentage of municipal fine revenues. We're down several million dollars a year uh, in the province, increasing the, its ticket master share of the, uh, uh, the fines that we issue and they collect for us. In all, 27 municipalities use photo radar in Alberta, drawing in $220 million in total fines in 2016. Meaning if radar were nixed, there would be questions about replacing that revenue. But ultimately, the camera's future is focused on one key question. Public safety. Uh, and again, it, it simply can't be a cash cow. It has to be about public safety. In Edmonton, Courtney Terrio, City News.